All right, hi you guys. Um, welcome to Renaissance Art History. I'm super glad that you are here and you chose to take this class. I wanted to let you know, I put so much work into making this class for you and I hope that you enjoy it. I know towards the end I was getting a little bit burned out, uh, so I hope I don't get boring at those points. I promise I was trying. Um, I wanted to give you guys a few hints on how to be successful in this class. The number one hint I can give you is answer the critical thinking questions right after you watch the video. So the way I have it set up here, and I think this will be really helpful to you, is that I actually have Buzz open in two different tabs. On the first tab here, I have the first set of critical thinking questions. Now, if I don't really remember one of these, a really good way to do this is to go back, and if you go open Buzz in another tab, then you can go down here, okay, that stupid thing, and you can open up my Renaissance period slideshow. That's the slideshow that I used for all of the videos. So if I open that up and I have the slideshow here, I can actually go through these slides to find the answer. So on my last class, I put less writing and I just had pictures and I spoke. But one of the reasons that I tried to put more writing in these slides, which I'm actually afraid might have made them more boring because then I'm reading the words to you instead of just speaking as I normally would, but you guys can let me know at the end whether that made them more boring or whether it made it easier for you to go back and look for answers. But all these places where I have a bunch of writing, I put it there so that you could go back and find the information you need while you have your critical thinking questions open in another tab. So you can be writing here click over here, find some more information, then click back over to your critical thinking questions and write more answers. So I think that that will hopefully really help you with getting this uh, work done. And, um, and take notes, write stuff down. Um, otherwise, you're not going to remember it.